I've been quite lucky to have Pactronix um, send me a smart camera on loan to demo. It's uh, for the MakeBlock platform. I believe um, Halico, CyberPi, or any of the MBot series can all use this smart camera. Let's pop him open and see what we've got. Um, these are the little um, tracking tags. So you can put, put these tags out on the course and you can program it when it sees different tags to carry out different tasks. Um, we've got some nice colored balls here. This camera is capable of color blob tracking. So you can get it to learn one of these colors of these balls and track these balls around. Um, that's just a, a external battery to power it. Let's have a look at the camera module itself. Right. So the first thing I notice is the USB plug here. That will be to plug it into your computer that allow you to actually see what the camera is seeing and to be able to make any adjustments on brightness or color or contrast or tuning of the tracking algorithm. Um, I see the ports either side here. That will be the M build ports for the Halley code or the CyberPi. Um, plus minus written on that, so I'd say that would be the power supply for the external battery. And then I see an uh, marked I squared C here. So I make the assumption that the Halley code and the CyberPi will plug in here and that the MBOT series will plug in there. Uh, I'm going to be testing this camera on an MBOT Ranger. All right, let's see what other goodies we have in here. So they sent us a whole heap of stuff for mounting it. Obviously, the angle you mount the camera at is going to be quite important. There's a nice little couple of angle bits there. Some screws. There's a USB lead to plug it into the computer. And here we have some different leads. All right, so these ones here will be the M, M build leads for the Halley code and the CyberPi. And I assume this lead here is for the MBOT series. So one of the things this camera can do, oop, if I get the camera itself, one thing this camera can do is it's capable of line tracking and also to be able to recognize intersections. We have a line following competition coming up with intersections in it. So I'm gonna test and see how well this camera performs in a competition environment uh, doing line following. Okay, I've opened up um, M-Block and downloaded the smart camera block just to have a bit of a look at them. Um, the first set here is um, just about color blob following. That's to follow the colors. The more ones I'm interested in is the next two lot here. So we can um, set him up to go to line or label tracking, um, a number of different stuff there to get different information. Uh, and we can actually have a look here in the vent. They actually have a bit here that'll actually calculate the differential speed targets the line following sanction. All right, I've also just loaded up the Pixiemon software that allows me to see what the camera's seeing. I've just slapped it on a robot I've got. You see as I drive along, it tells me where the right, where I need to turn the, car, turn the car to follow the road. And then when I get up to an intersection, it tells me there's an intersection there. So I've got a bit of programming to do to work out um, just how to go about doing all of this. And hopefully once he goes around the corner there, he follows onto the new road there. Uh, I haven't done anything with um, any sort of lighting or anything yet. So you can see I'm going from light to dark areas. It still seems to be tracking just fine. So Sage used this smart camera on his robot to compete in the line following challenge in the high school division at Robo Rave and managed to take out gold in what was a very difficult competition. Every year, Robo Rave makes a new course which the competitors don't get to see till comp day. This year's course was substantially harder than last year's course and it caught many competitors by surprise. Some turns are particularly tight, especially this one. Most competitors got stuck on that turn for quite a long time before they worked out how to program their robot to go past it. The other thing we have in the high school division, the line is very, very thin. Um, many sensors struggle to follow such a thin line. This is one place the camera very much stood out in front. The camera doesn't care how thick or thin the line is. As long as there's a black line in the picture, the camera will detect it and follow it. Of course, all these turns as well, the camera detects those turns and we just program the robot which way we want it to turn. 
So anyway, it was a very, very difficult course and took them the whole day to be able to tune the robot to get it to go around. But there you have the winning robot.